Hey guys, welcome to the part two of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. Believe me, these are all real certification questions on designing Microsoft Azure infrastructure. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. This team is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, AWS, Azure, GCP, and so on. Let us jump into the questions. See, there is a web app. What is web app used for? To create and deploy web applications. Okay. Suppose you have something like very mission critical, very important web app. Uh, it's just like maybe Uber or something which is you know, generating a lot of revenue. Then you use web app to create those web applications why so it has some ready-made stuff where jumpstart becomes easy and then you can increase developer productivity it kind of you know integrates well with github and you can reuse each other's code and so on and then it has like you can quickly add custom domains and single sign-ons so ssl you know it increases the security so it is important for developers to make their application secured and then you can achieve global scale on demand like suppose when amazon.com first time created their website they never thought that they would go global this big so fast but then they were on a platform where they were able to scale up asap so these settings you want to store in a key vault why because this is a secret right you know what this is a secret if anybody gets a hack to this configuration settings then your entire web application can go down and we all know key vault we use it to store secrets you can read this documentation in your leisure time but it holds secrets and the data is encrypted because your secrets has to be encrypted secrets can be your credentials also in this case it is the setting now the solution that you want you you are telling you want to recommend a solution for this but it should minimize changes to your app code so that means the way it integrates with key vault it should have minimized code changes what's the use if you have to every time do so many code changes and then you have to make use of principle of least privilege that means only for example if someone gets into your office and if they are just a visitor they will only get access to the ground floor they cannot go up first floor second floor they cannot go up that is the least privilege concept if you see your in your offices just because a visitor comes he or she will not get access to the whole building all the floors okay that is what we need here now here they are talking about key vault integration method so this is an example or documentation that i am showing you and how they grant app access you see this app access to the key vault this is how they do it they create a managed entity for your application and then you have to get the secrets permission see we know we only want get here because you want to know what permission it has in this case it will be secrets get because you are trying to retrieve secrets you are not trying to retrieve keys okay now you might ask why not this one lists and get because we have to apply principle of least privilege if you just want to do get why will anybody give you list list will give you a view of all the secrets no? that is wrong you just have to get it that's all this is wrong and keys i told you here we are dealing with secrets and not keys these are not encryption keys this is wrong and whenever we do this integration we use key vault references in application settings so this would be my final answer and here we are using app settings because we want to minimize change to the app code let us look at the next question 
see this is a storage account question and these are your requirements you want to store the data for multiple users so that multiple users at the same time can access the data first second is you want to encrypt each user's data using a separate key so that my data you cannot view it your data i cannot view it how will that happen through a separate key and third is they want to encrypt all the data in storage account using customer managed keys so as it is all the data would be encrypted and the encryption of each user's data will be through a separate key now what should we use to deploy so first thing first thing first okay if i go into these options i see there are there is a mention of files and blobs so here we are talking about uh, data it can be any data so if it can be any data for me it is an object store not a file store if i talk about file and premium file share these are just files the question is not talking about just files that is why i would mark a and d as wrong now that leaves us with two options b and c b is general purpose and c is data lake okay common sense in this question are is anybody talking about data lake requirement no right so why will we use data lake we will not use so i would mark c as wrong hence option b would be my answer so as your storage it is uh, capable of encryption and this is the documentation that supports it you can do both a server side uh, a service side encryption and uh, you can enable client management and so on key management sorry so this would be my final answer now let us jump to this question see the, what is the problem statement it it is saying you have personal identifiable information that means something like your credit card if someone knows your credit card number they can hack it and do illegal transactions on it or if someone gains access to your name and social security number or aadhar number or national id number anything based on your country they can still play around with that data and do some mischief so here the thing is you have a azure sql database this database is capable of intelligent it is managed intelligent sql in the cloud it can store data and it you can build apps faster using this database so this database is storing your pii you need to ensure only privileged users can view that pii for example if someone from the uh, financial credit risk department wants that access they can right because they will go through your confidential uh, financial data to understand your capability to repay the loans and based on that they would put a rating a sibil rating for example in india we have a sibil score the sibil score tells whether whenever you have taken loans in the past have you repaid those in time and if you have your sibil score is very high so that department would need access to your pii for example okay what solution should you do so the first option dynamic data masking this is a feature which is available both on azure sql database see if you see the documentation azure documentation is very informative and structured so if i am looking for this feature it clearly tells me it applies to sql database azure sql managed instance and synapse so i know which uh, which services this will apply to and it says it here as well okay so dynamic data masking it limits the sensitive data exposure so our pii is a sensitive data right so they mask it for non privileged users so users who should have access they can see the data but users who should not have access it will be masked that's why it is called dynamic data masking it will prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data okay so this can be a potential uh, answer okay but let us scan other options see rbac okay rbac when do we use is like 
a particular application for example a tableau report can you access it or can you not access it role based access so financial dashboards only people from finance team can access it people from hr team cannot access it pii you cannot control it this way so it, it the way it works is the pii is in the database so if you create role based access system so if you see the documentation here rbag we use for as a authorization system we do not use it as a replacement for the masking uh, requirements and what can you do with rbag is you can allow user to manage virtual machines and other user to manage virtual network so you can set roles for example a uh, uh, uber car driver does not have license to drive a truck so they these are roles right a truck driver will have rbag to just drive the truck a car driver will have the rbag to just drive the car in this case you cannot set use this for pii kind of requirements now option c talks about data discovery and classification see data discovery and classification applies to sql database that is what our question is asking perfect now what does this do suppose in your database you don't know which are the fields which are pii then you use this feature it will scan it will discover it will classify it will label and it will report hey boss you know what i found social security number that is pii hey boss i found credit card number in the database that is pii it will do that classification for you but in this case in our question they already know that these are the fields which are pii hence c is wrong now d is talking about transparent data encryption so this also applies to sql database which is what we need in our question see this is used for encrypting the data at rest this is not used for masking of pii so advantage of encryption is any malicious attack your data is still safe but it is not a solution for this question where they are looking for privileged users to view the pii hence this would be my final answer so friends please hit the subscribe button this is channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications aws azure and gcp and through this question like even though i have covered three questions there are four options in each question i have basically touched 12 topics this brings us to the end of part 2 stay tuned and do not forget to hit the join button which will help you gain access unlimited access to a wide variety of certification related contents questions knowledge base and so on see you in the next part